hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will show you a specific react chess package where you can render social media icons so that you can share your website content so i will so you will see we are showing facebook twitter linkedin whatsapp so it also supports multiple platforms as well so you can see by the click of the button you can simply share your content so as user click on any of these icons they will be able to share your content on their social media handles so you can see that so actual package name is if you go to npmjs.com just search for this package react-share so this is actually the specific component for react-chase you can see how many social media providers it supports so command is very simple npm install react-share and uh, it doesn't use any third party no dependencies or stk so you can see it supports these much of networks and i will show you a very simple demo about 401000 weekly downloads a pretty popular package so now to get started just make a simple functional component and uh, i will just make some state variables so what url that you want to share so here you will replace your own website name so whatever website name that you want to share and you can give it a title as well so check out this amazing website something like this and now to show these buttons it's very simple uh, you come to the jsx and i will just align everything in the center position so i will just give it text align to center and I will just give some margin from the top position which will be 50 pixel and right here we will show the buttons and we will have this h1 heading which will say react share example and we will basically align this change the display to flex just to display the buttons side by side so we are just using these CSS properties justify content to center and we will have a gap of 8 pixel sorry 10 pixel so now if you want to show the button you will simply provide the network name so here we need to specify the facebook share button so i will simply write facebook share button so automatically this will be imported at the top by vs code so react share so this takes only Two parameters first of all the URL that you want to share which is located in this variable and the second one is actual quote so this actually is your title that you want to share and same we can do this inside if you also want to show the icon as well there is also an icon also available so we have this Facebook icon this will also get imported and here you can control the sizing as well of this icon by providing a size parameter which is 40 and it can be round as well so if you refresh now you will see a round icon of Facebook will be shown and if any user clicks on this they will be able to sh share this on your on their timeline so you can see that so similarly we have uh, more networks available if you also want to show twitter you can simply say twi twitter share button and we can even show the icon as well twitter icon so you can specify a larger size as well which is 80 so it will look some little bit larger so if you refresh now so now you can see it is now larger here so this size property controls the size here so in this way you can specify any button here the syntax will remain the same you need to pass these two properties the actual site that you want to share and the title so we also have LinkedIn LinkedIn share button so 
so what i will do i will copy this and same thing you can do for whatsapp as well so linkedin icon we also have whatsapp share button whatsapp icon so you can see the social media buttons showing so in this way you can easily show them i am just missing all i am not able to show all the networks it will waste the time so you can even see it's also reddit also there if you want to show the reddit icon as well reddit is also a popular social media network so you will see that so here you can specify the size and you can check the documentation right here it supports you will see telegram pinterest tumblr you will see all these social media networks it supports so i just shown you a very simple example on how to use this it's very lightweight and the syntax is also very simple so thank you very much for watching this video and do check out my website as well freemediatools.com which contains uh, thousands of tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you in the next video